Hello there, and welcome to Twin Cedars Ranch. Today, I want to share with you a video of me building a deer blind. Hopefully, you'll pick up a few pointers, and maybe you'll learn a few things not to do. And feel free to leave comments at the end. It was fun building it. I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, the first thing I did, of course, was start with the base. The stand's going to be five foot by five foot. So I cut the two end boards at 60 inches long, and then the inner ones at 57 inches so that they could, they could fit inside the two end plates and still be 60 by 60. Once I did that, then I went ahead and put in the joist hangers and the corner braces and put them all the way around to make sure that's good and steady. And let me tell you, it's heavy, but it's all treated lumber and it's solid. Okay, the next step is I put the three quarter inch decking down on the floor. Three quarter inch should be plenty heavy. Okay, after I finished the decking, then I started framing out the walls. I started on the side where the door is. No particular reason, just kind of seems like a good place to start. Well, after I got the wall plumbed, I figured I might as well square it. And the easiest way to do that is with a sheet of siding. Well, here we are on day two of the deer stand build. Yesterday, we got the foundation built, framed and decked, and then we built the first wall. And I don't know why I started with this wall, but it seemed like the door was a good place to start. So we got it framed up and then squared it with a sheet of uh, outside siding and then cut out for the doorway. I dry fit the door inside of it and it fits good. So I think today we'll try to accomplish the other three sides and frame out for the windows. Well, I got the second wall up and framed out for the window. I dry fit the window to make sure it fit good and plumbed up both walls and tied them in together. Okay, well, I got both sides up and got the windows framed in and dry fit the windows to make sure they fit. Okay, I've got the third wall up, and before I fully secure it and cut out the window, I'm going to go ahead and put the frame of the fourth wall up, and that'll help give me a little bit more steadiness, make the frame a little bit more rigid. Okay, it's day three, and today I'm going to try to finish the siding all the way around maybe get some paint on it and possibly put the doors and windows in. Well, I finally got everything walled in and the windows cut out. And so now I'm gonna start uh, painting. Well, that wraps up day three. Okay, today I'm gonna to paint the inside. I thought I was gonna drag this outside, but still a pretty good chance of rain for most of this week. And I hate to lose a week's worth of work. I got the inside painted. You probably won't be seeing too much of me on the camera today because I look like the Jolly Green Giant. But I got some paint on it. Okay, for camo in the outside, I made me a little template out of some cardboard and held it up against the stand. 
just put a bunch of different leaf patterns on it. Okay, so I got the windows and doors in and did a little painting on the outside to kind of break it up. And I think everything looks pretty good. I've got to put the roof on it now and put the corner boards on it. This is the door. Same kind of door you would see on maybe an RV or something like that. Has a latch and a lock. Okay, I got my rafters in. Got this one centered on 48 inches so the edge of my plywood can sit on it. And then I'll just have to splice a piece onto the end. Okay, now that I've got the side sheet cut flush with the rafters, you can see what the pitch of my roof is. It's not very steep, but it's five and a half inches over five feet. So that's enough for the rain to run off. Okay, I got the trim up and the metal on the roof and did a little bit of caulking and now I'm going to paint the trim boards. Then I'll go back and camouflage them up a little bit. Well, it looks like Mother Nature has plans of her own. And this northern that was supposed to be getting here tonight it's getting here this afternoon. I'd say the temperature's already dropped 10 or 15 degrees. Oh well, I have to finish tomorrow. I am not gonna lie, I was a little nervous strapping this on and picking it up. I was going to try to put four foot legs under it, but I think I better go with three. Well, I started feeling a lot better once I got those two front legs on. At least if it was going to fall now, I knew which direction it was going to fall. So two down, two to go.
Okay, the last thing that I did after I got the stand set in place was to build some steps to get up into it. And then I drove some T-posts down into the ground and used guide wires, uh, I believe it's quarter inch cable, with turnbuckles to secure it. Now I'm not saying mother nature can't push it over, but at least we're slowing it down some. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe so that you can see our future videos. Until then, take care and God bless.